Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Mike at Image Tutorials and today we're going to talk about uh, another two fields, uh, one being the turbulence field and the other one being the vortex field. All right. So we're going to start off in our end dynamics menu <coughs> and let's see, we'll start off by going to end particles and uh, create end particles, create emitter. Okay which will give us this guy right here. Now, if I bump up my frames to, I don't know, let's do 99999. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay, we're gonna hit play. And as you can see, you got, you know, particles coming out in all directions. Okay. Now, <coughs> if you go to our windows, so we'll go to eyeliner, we can see we got an emitter, we got the end particle, and we got the nucleus. Okay, these are our particles. Now, if we check out our end particle here, there's a couple of things that you can do to, uh, you know, as far as uh, adjusting the settings and so forth. This is for the uh, particle shape. This is our actual emitter. And this is our nucleus. Okay, and for example, here you can play with gravity settings, direction, air density, wind speed, and so forth. So, for example, if I were to just crank that up like crazy, there we go, and just bring that back, and it's starting to slow down, and there we go again, and slowing down, okay, cool. Now, <coughs> one thing you can do as well is you can change the wind direction. So, we're going to hit play, and let's change the wind direction to 2. And it's going straight up. And let's do minus two. And it's going down. Okay. All right. That's enough about this uh, basic setup. That's not what we were going to talk about. We're going to talk about uh, the vortex and the turbulence. Okay. So we're just going to bring that wind speed back. And let's do a gravity of one. Let's go back to our start. Actually, let's do that here. Select it, field, gravity. Okay, so it's going up. That's what we want, right? Okay, now next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of these emitters. Okay, so we're going to go back to end particles, create end particles, create emitter. I hit W so we can move this guy. And let's uh, do that once more. And particle create emitter. And let's put it out here somewhere. Let's see if they are actually creating particles or not. So go back to our beginning. Yeah, okay, there. Now, for these two as well, we're going to go to field uh, gravity. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now we've got these three going on. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce, we're going to select these, and we're going to go to fields, and we're going to introduce vortex, like so. We're going to go back to our start frame, and let's just play this. Now, you probably don't see that much going on. Uh, let's see. So, we're going to go to our magnitude here, and let's crank that up. Go back to the beginning. Okay, as you can see, they're starting to curve. You can see that? Okay, let's increase that some more. There we go. So, you can play with that, right? We're going to bring that down a bit. Something like that. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to introduce, and for that, we're just going to select this. We're going to go to Fields, and we're going to go to Turbulence. And we're going to add that. And that will make it a bit less uniform. Okay. So, it should anyway. Let's go back to our uh, Windows Outliner. Uh, where's my vortex field? There it is. I want to increase the magnitude on that one. Okay. 
Okay, let's do something like that. Okay, and then Windows Outliner Turbulence Field. Let's play with the magnitude on that one. So hit play. Okay, we're all gonna bring that up. Now, and that's that's not bad actually. That's kind of the effect that I was going for. All right, so <coughs> so you can imagine that you can do quite a few things if you're using this. Uh, for example, let's say you are modeling an aquarium and you want air bubbles to rise to the surface. Let's say you're modeling a tornado and you want uh, this to be a tornado field. Uh, many, many more applications that you can use these two fields with. Okay, so again, it's turbulence and it's the vortex field. Okay, uh, free straightforward. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, feel free to play around with the settings and see what you can come up with. Okay, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.